Yeah, well, at last count, there were 4.9 million pet cats in Australia, so clearly a lot of us are cat lovers. A lot of meowing. To give us some tips on kitty care, we are joined by pet behaviourist and executive producer of Channel 10's Pooches at Play, Lara Shattered, and she's got a few little friends with her this morning. Nice to see you. Who have you got there? I do. We have the beautiful Kiki here, who is the mother of little Rosella, or little Rosie here. So these two adorable ones, and I've got a little, a few loud ones behind me as well that you might hear. <laughs> so what makes cats such good pets? Because they can be a little bit polarising, can't they? <laughs> they can. Some people either, you know, love or uh, hate them. But these guys, no, they make wonderful pets because, of course, you know, they still give you love, all that unconditional love and all that affection that we crave from our pets. But they can be left alone a lot more. They're a bit more adaptable and probably not quite as hard work as the dogs, dare I say that. <laughs> Any advice on how to choose the right cat for your, your family or your household? <laughs> yes, if you don't want noisy ones, then don't get Hugo over here behind <laughs> me. But um, it's really, <laughs> it's really important to um, understand where the cats are going to mix when you, particularly if you're adopting one as well, whether they're going to mix with other pets that you might have in the household. Some breeds are a lot more dog-like; they love to play. They're really good with kids and children, whereas others like to be a little bit more aloof and independent. So you do need to research the individual breed and make sure you're choosing the right one for your family and lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a playful one there, that's for sure. You're at the Australian Animal Protection <laughs> Society. Now, they rescue cats and that's put them right. up for uh, adoption. So if we're adopting an adult or a senior cat, how do you help them adjust to their new home? Look, cats need a lot of time to adjust, so we definitely, I'm going to lose little Rosie here, we definitely don't want to be enforcing any kind of interactions with, you know, people, other pets or children if they're feeling a little bit nervous. So it's really important that we give uh, cats plenty of time to settle into their new home, somewhere nice and high, so a cat tower is really good to give them some space that they can get away to. If you do have other pets, then give them their own room and leave them in there. For a few days, there needs to be a barrier between any pets for quite some time and you really need to do those introductions slowly. Can you train a cat? Because <laughs> Rosie doesn't look you like can, You can train a cat to do all sorts of things, yeah. We've actually, um, on set to play, we've actually trained a cat to high five. Um, you can teach them to ride skateboards. At the Cat Lover Show, there is going to be some awesome tricks that you can see cats do. Anything we can teach a dog to do, pretty much our cats can do as well. Okay, so this weekend you're a presenter at the Melbourne Cat Lovers Show. No more tickets for that one, but to book for the Sydney Dog Lover Show in August and Melbourne Dog Lover Show in October, head to dogloversshow.com.au. you a dog or a cat yes. person yourself, Lara? Oh, look, I love them all, you know, I really do. I love any animal. I'm just, um, I just love them all. So I have no favourites, um, but I'm really looking forward to being at the Cat Lover Show this weekend. I'm going to be on the adoption stage. So if anyone's got any questions or they want to know anything about adopting a cat, then they can head along, along there. Beautiful. All right. Thanks, Lara. Good luck. Now, Studio 10 is back with The Cage of Death. That's next.